Support me on Patreon. My links are in the description. Hi everyone, it's Marina again. I'm here uh, today. I want to show you a lot of the uh, my, a lot of my artwork that I've uh, acquired in uh, the process of doing uh, having a, a sailboat show and then also continuing to uh, do sailboats. Um, so I have and to start my tutorials. So I want to show you what I what this a lot of the work that I've uh, that I've just compiled a lot of artwork and just to mention that is an as an artist if you want if you haven't had a show and you want to show the first thing you need to do is a lot of artwork. That will um, that will prepare you for the next stage of getting the art show because it seems that um, for me that if I do a lot of artwork somehow the, uh, the the venue shows up every time. So I know, do a lot of artwork and, uh, and it will happen for you. Um, okay, so now what I did was I wanted to show you how many times I did this one painting. This is my Sobo tutorial painting. Um, I did this, let's see, how many times? Here we go. Five times I did this one to uh, get to one tutorial that actually where everything went well <laughs> it was really funny but I was experimenting with how to put my uh, uh, my camera up how to get the lighting right for me how to uh, get my my land my uh, s lanyard speaker working I just it was everything was kind of interesting and not frustrating uh, maybe a little bit frustration, but so what I did was I want to show you so I did five of these and I I really enjoyed this one because it's really fun and the reason I chose it was because it was just pr pretty much two colors you could make it two colors I've added some colors like on this one you can see I have um, this uh, sailboat has a lot more color and others don't there's another one in here which one is it this one here this I really love this sailboat but I I'm not really finished with the sky or the ocean I would add uh, I would bring it closer with more dark colors here dark blues this is just one blue you can use a lot of blues I chose to make it really simple and so I used one blue and um, it's watercolor and then I just played a little bit with the uh, sailboat color, the, the sails, and the different uh, s actual uh, sailboats. So I did that, and then I want to show you the rest of the pieces that I've just acquired over time. This was my one of my tutorials. It was, um, it's not finished, but I if, when I go back to finish it, I would add a little bit more depth to the sky. I'd, I'd bring maybe this the moon down from the as a reflection. I'd add some highlights to the ocean, or I will do that, and then uh, maybe just a little bit make the sailboats a little bit more distinguished, and then bring the a uh, little bit of the the waves up uh, a little bit closer to you, so that you could feel the depth. <coughs> now, I don't think that you have to have <coughs> depths like that, or the depth. I think if you want to just make it just flat, that's perfectly fine. Um, it's up to you as an artist. You make the decisions, and uh, the creative person in you uh, is willing to do whatever you need to do. It's funny. Um, I think of it as my little, the little kid in me who says, "I want it that way, and that's the way I want it, and I don't care what you say." So I did go to art school. That's one thing. I did do a lot of drawings. I studied under wonderful uh, instructors. And then after I, the, when I was leaving school, my best instruction was to now forget everything you learned and do your own artwork. <clears throat> so um, best, best advice that you can get. So here's another, uh, this is a water, this is not water, this is um, oil pastel. <clears throat> oil pastel is really fun to work with because it's, uh, you can move it around. You know, I use uh, my hand and I, my finger and I just smudge the sky. This is a few colors of blue and white and a few colors of green and blue and uh, and I just uh, mix it all up and I make it the sky because the sky really can can be anything at all it's just amazing you look up at the sky and there's just amazing uh, colors and um, textures it's, it's I it's so so you get to uh, also as an artist you get to uh, use your imagination you don't even need to see it you could just do it so I didn't really see the sky anywhere I just made that sky so I kind of know what sky looks like anything I'm gonna make it you look like a lot of blues um, 
okay and then this is another another just a yellow sky I don't know have you seen a yellow sky I've seen some very deep yellow skies and uh, I did what I wanted to do it was really fun here's another one this one has smudges because I uh, I had uh, was one it was obviously it was too close to another piece so I just will scrape this off with oil pastels you can uh, you can actually go back in and scrape some things off. This one I went too far, so I would add. And then the other thing you could do is actually just smudge in if you want some more. Easy to fix. This is a watercolor uh, fast painting I did, and I think I was at Santa Monica with my kids. And I had some pens. I just bought some pens, and uh, this is uh, just watercolor on, I think it's just, I think it's actually drawing paper. And I used these with me. I've pointed them out they have a reservoir of water so you can just take them wherever you want and they're really helpful you get them at the art store this is a chalk pastel again I decided there was going to be a big sun and a, a lot of sky and uh, sailboats so as a creative person again same thing this is a little bit more stylized just I'm having fun I'm doing what I want to do and then here I made this I made a, a gold uh, gold shore and a green probably kelp idea a green ocean idea it's pretty much up to me I did what I wanted to do uh, this one here <coughs> I was playing with uh, the sky a little bit I was thinking about clouds and uh, stormy clouds and bright clouds and <clears throat> excuse me and then the sun going down and the reflection I love the reflections of the Sun and the moon <clears throat> and this is just a uh, just a fun idea I think I scraped some it's watercolor and I went and I was rubbing some things rubbing it out to see how what the effect was and um, I was really having fun with that one so I want to uh, say that as an artist, a creative person, you kind of set the stage for yourself and you as a creative person decide how it's going to look and what it's going to look like. As I said, I think I mentioned that little kid, there's a little kid in all of us. That's, I think that's that creative, creative part of me. So my little kid uh, lets me know that I'm really amazing, that I, um, I, I'm very creative and, uh, and I can do anything and uh, I don't have to ask anyone's permission you know what looks good I've got to know that if I'm doing it it looks good one thing I did say I think I mentioned that I did study art so uh, I went to an art school here in Pasadena um, and I uh, studied under a lot of a lot of uh, really great artists and designers I was studying um, actually advertising and I ended up staying I wanted to stay home so I thought I better you know, no I just be took a drawing class and something I could draw so that was great but I want to say as a creative person to be your best fan you know if you are your best fan um, you don't need any more fans I mean, they will show up and if you are doing your artwork and it really just comes from your heart and you're not second-guessing yourself people will notice and they will want to see your work and um, and you will you can sell your work is um, so I say go for it so here's some more pieces that I did this is a I did an experiment with a <coughs> um, canvas board I got these from Blick they come in a pack of five or six and they're not very expensive and if you want to experiment this is the way to do it so I did some um, I started experimenting with uh, acrylic so I uh, did an acrylic wash and then I went over with uh, oil pastel and and then this is another one same thing uh, I think I think the background is yellow and I just came in with more yellow idea of what maybe the Sun uh, a whirlpool Sun on the side so I really do just let my imagination go and uh, and really just have uh, uh, just a wonderful time it's almost a form of meditation this this is a experiment in just um, I can say a lot I'm trying to not say that and just uh, with just acrylics so what I like about this painting of mine is uh, my focus that I would really li I like is this ocean 
just the dynamics of the all the colors and the movement I don't uh, does it look like an ocean really uh, I think so uh, it's my my stylized ocean so I'm pretty happy with it this one I used uh, again a blue acrylic background and I think there's like also a deeper blue here so I usually mix a lot of blues at one time when I'm doing a, a sky and then I came in with a yellow and an orange and um, and a red and I usually smudge all the colors together and also when you're smudging you have to make sure to after you smudge clean your fingers because it has to be otherwise it, it gets uh, two uh, you'll get just one color because you mix it in so that way you keep it new by cleaning your fingers and uh, pushing the color around so I, then I so I scraped off the a lot of the pastel and I brought the blue background forward <clears throat> this one is uh, more fun again same thing lots of blues smudge oil uh, acrylic in the background and I do a lot of th threes three oh three sailboats it's just three is my number so same thing I had a lot of fun here boy I added a lot of colors so I'm sure it started with a blue background because there it is right there dark blue and I came in with all kinds of color I uh, do think in terms of composition also so I know that I, I don't really want to put anything at horizon in the middle because it um, can get boring and uh, to add a little bit more drama I either add more sky than ocean or more ocean than sky so um, I uh, that makes usually paintings and drawings more interesting when you're doing this kind of a composition here's another one again three sailboats and this is a uh, oil pastel again over acrylic here I was creating just a lot of texture I don't know if you can see it but I'll turn it a little bit maybe you can see it um, there's just a lot of texture in here and I think I just was having fun with texture and color and uh, I really I think this I really love it I, I love a lot of my artwork and if I don't love it I know I will love it probably when I see it again because sometimes you'll get so involved in your own artwork that you uh, the I not you that you don't I don't see some things so just to let you know uh, if you do a lot of artwork I'm going to say do as much artwork as you can and say you uh, you do something and uh, and oh and have a lot of uh, things ready for your like so I had a lot of these uh, canvas boards I have a lot of pastel paper I have a lot of uh, watercolor paper I have just sketchbooks and I make things available to me uh, mediums that way when I'm ready to just do a lot of uh, canvas boards I have them and I just do one after another one after another and I don't really try to copy any of them I just make them up as I go along I don't really sketch things out very well I'm not a good sketcher because I am in more of an intuitive painter artist so I just sit down I get color I get my my medium my canvas my my uh, my canvas boards my paper and my materials and I just go for it so then that's my personal way to work your personal way work uh, to work does not have to match mine so just want to let you know um, this is just a lot of work and um, and also doing videos is a lot of work too as you can see each one of these took quite a while it's funny because just getting all set up and everything but well worth it and I'm having a great time I think I found my extra love besides drawing and painting is doing videos and also I just want to inspire uh, all you artists and or maybe you don't think you're an artist or you just but you want to do artwork do it because um, it's so rewarding and it's a, a form of meditation it's a form of kindness to yourself and also uh, other people are waiting to see your artwork believe it or not there is there are people who are waiting which is what I find so thanks so much for listening and um, next we're going to show another uh, uh, 
so uh, my next I'm gonna do another video because I'm having so much fun okay remember to subscribe I hope you enjoyed this and I will show more artwork and also we're gonna work on um, more sailboats and I want this to be a rewarding uh, an easy time for you to create something and to be inspired and to um, have fun okay bye Thanks for watching. Please check out my social media pages in the description below.